large orange and white parachute. This main parachute covers an area of about a thousand meters, slowing uh, the uh, Soyuz to a descent rate of some 7.2 meters per second. Just a few feet off the ground, the soft landing engines uh, will fire uh, in a final braking maneuver, and uh, the Soyuz and its crew will be home. Having launched uh, 186 days ago in a journey that has spanned uh, almost 79 million miles over almost 3,000 orbits of the Earth, the Soyuz is less than four minutes away from touchdown. The uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters have also established visual contact with the Soyuz as it approaches its landing site. Time to touch down about three minutes. It is 3.12 in the afternoon in uh, Kazakhstan as we uh, near the end of uh, the mission of this uh, crew that launched back on December 15th, part of Expedition 46 initially, and then in March transitioning to Expedition 47 under the command of uh, NASA's Tim Copra. On board the International Space Station, uh, the three Expedition 48 crew members the uh, new station commander, Jeff Williams of NASA, and his two uh, Russian uh, crewmates, Alex Kropochka and Alexei Ovchinin, are also watching uh, this same view that you're watching of the Soyuz descending to the landing site, the video being fed up to the International Space Station. We're past one kilometer mark. Just about a minute until touchdown, and you can see uh, one of the uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, flying in the vicinity uh, with good visual observation of the Soyuz. Copy. The Soyuz uh, nearing uh, its touchdown point southeast of the town of Jezkazgan.
And we're standing by for touchdown. The Soyuz is home. Touchdown confirmed at uh, 4.15 a.m. Central Time, 3.15 p.m. at the landing site in Colorado.